So if you've struggled with sticking to a routine or you feel like coding every day is impossible, I've got you covered in this video. When I first started to learn to code, I gave myself four months to see if I could, you know, make any progress. And of course, you know, it's, it wasn't easy. And to be honest, there's some days that I just felt like my brain was just allergic to JavaScript. But now coming to the end of those four months, you know, I can pretty confidently say that you know, I built a solid foundation and I have managed to build the consistency to keep going. So in this video, let me share some of the strategies that helped me stay consistent even on the days when you know the idea of opening up my code editor was just really daunting. So whether you're just starting out or you've hit a roadblock, I, you know, I think these lessons will keep you on track and help you to avoid quitting early. Now, the first one is a mindset shift, motivation versus consistency. First thing I had to do was I just really had to stop relying on motivation. Why? Well, because number one, my motivation is as reliable as my ability to keep plants alive. You know, that, that, that's a fake plan over there. <laughs> my motivation, it comes and goes, right? So instead of my motivation, I just rely on consistency. I just block out what I need to focus on to accomplish today. And I kind of built this strategy from the metaphor of the of ultra runners, right? In the ultra running scene where they run 100 miles plus, they don't focus on mile 100 when they're in mile one, right? They don't worry about mile 100. They just worry about the mile that they're in. I like this concept. And so, you know, I've applied it to coding. For me, you know, it meant tackling just one concept at a time, you know, one project or just one course at a time. Right now, uh, I'm focused on React. Before that, I was, you know, on free code camp. Whatever I'm working on, I give it my full attention and I try not to think about how many other technologies I need to learn. This focus not only helps me to retain what I'm learning, but it also keeps me from skipping the foundational stuff that's, you know, crucial for later. For example, you can't dive into React if you don't understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you know, trust me. I've tried it. <laughs> the second is working towards a roadmap or a system is the best way. When I first started to learn, things were really messy, right? I could, I thought I could just wing it. I was going from sort of one video to another video to one course and starting another course. I was jumping around. I was knowing a little about everything and just a whole lot about nothing. That's when I actually reached out and I spoke to a developer friend of mine. And that's when they told me to focus on a system like Free Code Camp, where I could just focus on one thing at a time, one step at a time. The roadmap gives you a lot of structure. You know, it helps you figure out what to learn first, what to focus on next. And like I said, for me, going through that online boot camp was a real lifesaver. So my recommendation is if you're learning on your own, find a system that works for you. It could be an online course, it could be a book, even a YouTube playlist. Um, the key really is to stick to it and resist the urge to jump ahead to all the cool stuff like, you know, React, APIs before you've nailed the basics. The third point here is to track your progress. Now, I want to talk about my little secret weapon, and that is I actually have a wall calendar, the same one that your grandma probably uses to keep track of all those birthdays. <laughs> so each day that I code, I actually mark it with a green line. This is a really simple strategy, and I've found it to be extremely useful just having that visual representation in my office that I can look at and seeing those lines stack up every single day, you know, it feels like I'm winning a game, except I'm obviously the only player. But still, it's keeping me accountable. And like I said, having that visual reference really helps me to keep these tasks or keep this habit top of mind. I also track all of my progress on GitHub. Since the last four months, I've been making commits almost daily, you know, they're has almost been no gaps. And if there is a gap, it's when I've been doing something like I've watched a tutorial, uh, I've gone through a course, or I've just been Googling what's the fastest way to learn to code. And I did that about, you know, a hundred times. If only learning to code was as easy as that scene in Matrix where Neo just sort of plugs in and downloads uh, Kung Fu into his brain. Unfortunately, you know, coding involves a lot more trial and error uh, and a lot of stack overflow. The fourth point I have here is just adapting to your life flexible scheduling. Now, look, I'll be honest, my schedule, it can be just all over the place. You know, some weeks I code at night after work and after dinner. Other weeks I squeeze in time in the morning when work is a little bit lighter for the day. The key here really is flexibility. You know, life happens. Some days you're just too busy or something unexpected comes up like a work deadline. You know, you've got family commitments or your dog just basically eats something he's not supposed to and you have to take him to the vet in the morning. Yeah, that happened just recently. It was a bit of a nightmare. So essentially what works for me is finding time wherever I can, even if it's just 20 minutes. I also communicate with my partner. So, you know, if we have plans the day, the, you know, the next day, I'll sort of carve out some time earlier during the day, like, you know, during lunch or by waking up a little bit earlier. Well, you know, 
trying to wake up earlier. Coding consistency doesn't mean sticking to a rigid schedule. You know, it's about making it a priority and finding a way to fit it into your day, even if you've got stacks on that day and it's, you know, a bit of a mess. The fifth point that I have here is, you know, work on a personal project alongside your learning. So whatever roadmap you're following, whatever course you're following, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be complicated, but start working on a simple personal project, like a simple website, something based on HTML, CSS, maybe a little bit of JavaScript, or, you know, if you're like me, you can start with something ridiculously ambitious and complicated, get frustrated, and then scale back to the basics. But anyway, seriously, on days when you're short on time, open your project and add something small to it. Maybe, you know, tweak the design, write a new function. Even if you delete some code that, you know, that still counts. The goal here is to really build a habit. The more you do it, the more natural it becomes just like brushing your teeth. And working on personal projects also helps you see how concepts that you're learning come to, to life. And it really makes you feel like you're a real programmer when you're working on these things and building things on your own. And the sooner that you do it, the better, to be honest. And the final point that I have here is don't get burnt out. Rest days are productive too. So let me just clear something up. Coding every day doesn't mean spending five hours glued to your computer. Some days it's just about 20 to 15 minutes. Other days, it's not even writing any code at all. It could be just watching a tutorial, reading an article, or brainstorming ideas for a project. It's all just part of the process, but the idea is to just do something small on a different medium. But rest is crucial, giving your brain time to absorb, what you've learned uh, is just as important as the time that you've spent coding. If you are feeling burnt out, then that's a sign that you just need to step back. You need to do something lighter, you know, like watching a YouTube tutorial um, or even researching a new concept, whatever it is. And sometimes you really just need to take the entire day off. The goal here is not perfection. You know, coding is a marathon. It's just about consistency. Um, but from time to time, we obviously all need to take a break. So that's it guys. Those are my strategies for how I've been able to build that consistency and to keep coding every single day. Uh, and I think they're going to really help me with my future endeavors with coding. I hope they were helpful for you. Now, if you have any other tips, feel free to let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Why not consider subscribing as well? Uh, but that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.